I would like to show you how you can use a jQuery data table plugin and create a table which can be edited and this can be very useful so let's get started here I basically set up a sample table which is really just a normal table and it doesn't have any uh, addition or deletion capabilities so if you look at it it's basically uh, which has a header uh, uh, header and then it has some sample data it has a a uh, button which can be used to add a new row and let me show you the code I have for doing all of this in the HTML the code is pretty straightforward you have this button code which calls a function and then you have a data table that is being controlled by the data table plugin and in terms of the, fu in terms of the functionality uh, here is the sample data for the data set and here is the table which uh, and uh, all it is doing is adding a column so that's what it is and if I refresh it and you can see and that works all fine so what I'm going to do is uh, add a little bit more functionality to it and I'll show you uh, how to do this so I'm going to copy some code and uh, I'm uh, copying it right now and I have copied some code and I'm going to refresh and see what it does so one thing you would notice is when I did this uh, basically in the last column I have ended up getting a delete uh, bunk button and I've also uh, seen the case where I was just seeing some text here I have a checkbox which has a value of checked or unchecked and let me show you as to how I did this uh, basically uh, the way this works is that uh, the columns are numbered from 0 uh, onwards in the data table plugin so when it says targets of 3 it means the column number is 4 so 0, 1, 2, uh, sorry, 0, 1, 2, 3. So this is the modern browser column. And uh, what it says is if the data is greater than or equal to 6, I want to have a checkbox, otherwise it's unchecked. And the, the way, if you look at my sample data, my fourth column has a value of 4, 5. Uh, here is 5.5. So only the last two uh, rows have 6 and 7. And that's why you can see it is showing up as checked. And uh, the way you set it up is through the render function. Here is a render function. So I explained you that. Let me just show you the last thing. Here basically it says if the data value is 1.5, uh, I have an add and a delete button. Otherwise, I just have a delete button. And this is the, the code for the delete button where it calls a delete row button. And add just calls a commit function. And uh, that's the reason it is showing up uh, that way is that Normally, if the data is 1.5, it has an add or delete. If it is anything else, it just has a delete button. And the data I have here is just as an X. So that's why uh, it's uh, showing you all this uh, functionality so far. So uh, in terms of how this works, uh, okay, so there is one, co uh, one uh, column which I will use the, to demonstrate how you can build editing functionality. And basically, it says if the data value is 1.3, I'm going to have an input checkbox. Otherwise, it will just return me the data. Since in my sample case, the data value is just Windows 7 and sorry, the Chrome, Internet Explorer and all of that. Or, sorry, the Windows 7 uh, MacBook, it's just basically returning me the data. And so that's uh, pretty much what it is doing. Uh, let's just now build some editing functionality and that can be done just by editing some new functions to it. So here I have enabled the add row uh, function, which is going to be add a new row. And I'm going to add a series of functions and I'll walk you through as to how that works. So uh, here is my function. Add row function is pretty straightforward. It's basically adding a new dummy row and it adds uh, a dummy row with these values. And uh, basically here my counter is just one always. So the value it adds is 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4 and 1.5. And it says add it to the rows, invalidate and draw. And that's what uh, this addition function is doing. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because in one of the columns I'm adding the value as 1.3. And when I, here you can see if the value is 1.3, it is going to show me an input checkbox. And here you can see if the value is 1.5 in the last column, it is going to show me an add and a delete uh, uh, button. And uh, that's uh, pretty much what the add row will do. Delete row is pretty straightforward. Basically it says when you click on it on the delete function, it gets me the closest table row. And here I can just delete the table row by finding it uh, through jQuery uh, data 
cable plugin uh, function called function delete row. So if I uh, just click on this, you can see uh, it's basically uh, doing all of that. And if I just didn't, uh, uh, let me just demonstrate you the delete function. So like say if I want to delete the third row, I can just click on this and it's going to uh, delete that. It says add row is not defined, delete row is not defined. Oh, okay. So basically uh, I have to save uh, this file. So these functions were not defined. So now hopefully it'll work. So if I click this thing, here you see it click the third row and all is going good. So here let me explain to you the addition function. If I click on add, here you can see it is adding the dummy row 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5. So here you can see if it is 1.3, it allows me, gives me a checkbox. Uh, input uh, check input um, text box and if it is 1.5 it gives me a, a function where I can do a commit here let's say if I want to add just say MacBook uh, Air and if I want to commit this value I can just hit on the commit button and here it's committed this values so the only thing you can see is I was only doing the input checkbox for the column 3 but you can do it for any other columns but let me just show you the commit function that was the last part of it Basically commit function is adding a dummy value. So basically for the two columns, it just adds A and B. The real thing that is being done in for the third column where it is taking the value, whichever I have inputted into the checkbox and just pushing it onto the list. So we have A, B and whatever was in the check input text box. And then it just puts in a value of four and five. Here it is just getting me the closest TR when I'm committing it. And then it is as a function update and this comma and row. So this is how you can essentially build uh, an editable data row and I've shown you how to do this thing. So this is uh, really good and here is a junk and then it's a commit. So here this is how you can build one. If you want to learn more about this or any other things you can just go to my website, uh, look at JavaScript and you can find some of my screencasts. Thank you for watching and you have a great day.